The Haute Route is probably the most beautiful ski route in the Alps. It crosses from France to Switzerland alongside one of the most fascinating mountains like the Matterhorn or the Mont Blanc. It is a high altitude route reaching almost 4,000 meters in a number of occasions, but it is easy in difficulty. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get updates and notifications when new videos get published. The route is generally completed in five days, going from hut to hut every night. There is no need to carry a tent or a sleeping bag. Therefore, the weight is rather light, making it pleasant and enjoyable. Although, given its length and the high alpine environment, it is not to be taken lightly. It is a small expedition. The meteorology can change quickly from a fantastic day to a cold and windy with little visibility day. Stable weather is essential before attempting this route to avoid any dangerous situation. Nevertheless, it is possible to bail halfway through and descend to one of the villages in the valley. The hardest section of the whole route is climbing Pinderola which is 3,700 meters high from the Cabaña de Diz. The access to the Col de Brené is often on ice and it requires to wear knives on the skis or even to remove the skis and put the crampons on for one small section. Another aspect to take into consideration is the avalanche danger. There are many applications available to check the conditions and have an overall idea. However, personal judgment is important. There are many gullies and faces that they have large accumulations of snow due to the wind. In addition, in sunny days, the, the snow becomes heavy in the afternoon. For this reason, we start early and we finish early to spend the afternoon in the hut. In spite of being in the wilderness, surrounded by beautiful mountains, all covered in pure white snow, there is phone signal pretty much everywhere, with even high-speed internet. Some people even stream their adventurous life. Although, for safety reasons, it is advisable to carry a radio. The route goes up and down through many hills, reaching several calls, but it's never hard in difficulty and there is never a very large altitude gain. If you want to make it a bit more challenging or exciting, it is possible to have some alternative routes to make some peaks in the way. 
The views are extraordinary all the way. When we did this route, we only had the stable weather for four days. We checked the hats and chose to make it in four days, an alternative route with one long crux day. Some hats were closed and others were full. So we had to plan the itinerary accordingly. The day I liked the most was the last day the descent to Cermat. It is the easiest day where there is more skiing down than skinning up. This descent crosses the north face of the Matterhorn and then the run just at their base. It's a different perspective to the most popular pictures that we see of these summits. Much more impressive. I felt pretty small by these monsters, with their thousand meter north facing. And the arrival at Zermatt is also great, where there are plenty of comfortable cafeterias and restaurants to get recovered from the adventure. <laughs> 